Hello ladies and gentlemen, and today I'm here to talk about where is tier 4 deathless? The most difficult challenge in Empires of the Undergrowth is the deathless challenge. The series I've created started at tier 1 and has gone all the way to tier 3, however there's one more tier left to go. If you've been observant, you've noticed that I haven't posted anything about it. If you know Empires of the Undergrowth very well, you also know why this is. Although the entire game is not built for deathless, it is especially so in tier 4. A little context here. For the first tier of Empires of the Undergrowth, you were given black ants and relatively weak enemies. Black ants are pretty tanky, and the levels there are... Well, they're not easy, in fact, they're quite difficult, but they're very simple in terms of how to execute them. Tier 2 gives you stronger enemies, but have an even stronger tank and ranged ants that do incredible damage. Tier 2 was also very difficult, but still manageable. Tier 3 gives you the strongest tank in the game, in fact, it gives you the strongest ant in the game, the Leafcutter Major supporting from 200 to 400 health on level 3. This is incredibly powerful and made Deathless not as hard as it should have been, judging by the enemies and how strong they were in tier 3. This is consistent with the fact that enemies get stronger as tiers progress. In tier 1, the strongest enemy we deal with is, well, the Devil's Coach Horse Beetle, which is relatively weak. In fact, it's weaker than a Leafcutter Major. But as you get to tier 2, the strongest enemy you'll face are large hermit crabs, which are like mini raid bosses. In tier 3, the strongest enemy you face is the titan whip spider. However, you don't actually have to fight this in tier 3, which is why it's manageable. And that brings us to why exactly tier 4 has been delayed for so long. In tier 4 deathless, the levels are as follows. Cold blood, a bridge too far, and formicarium challenge 4. In Cold Blood and Formicarium Challenge 4, you are required to fight Titans in order to progress the level. Not only that, but the levels in Tier 4 give you access to the weakest ant out of all the campaign levels, the Fire Ant. However, they swarm out in huge numbers, which is why they are so powerful. But, Swarmy Glass Cannon is not what we're looking for in Deathless. It makes friendly casualties so frequent, even if I play super well. And of course, the biggest issue of all these levels is by far Cold Blood. Because in the Formicarium, although we have to fight stronger Titans, we don't have to fight them with Fire Ants. We can use Leaf Cutters and Wood Ants. So, Cold Blood. What's the problem? Well, the Bullfrog. If you don't know, the Bullfrog almost always starts the battle with an Execute that never misses. Which just straight up ends the run. It's incredibly frustrating, and the fact that Fire Ant colonies don't have diversity makes it incredibly limiting on what I can do. I've spent the past few weeks testing different theories and trying out so many different things to try and get this level to work, and so far, I have a few ideas left, but it's not looking promising. It's been very difficult, and that's why this tier has taken so dang long to get out. I assure everyone watching, though, in the next few weeks, a video will come out in Tier 4 Deathless, regardless of if I'm victorious or not. But I will do everything in my power to make sure that Cold Blood Deathless is accomplished. Thank you for watching the video. If you've watched this far, leave a comment down below on what challenges should do after Deathless if you have any ideas. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in Tier 4 Deathless. Peace.